Hello, yes, okay, this audio is probably going to be at the end or the beginning, don't know which one yet. So, I'm going to be gone for a week. I know, I just started out, it's it's great, I'm taking a break for a week. No, I'm taking a break for a week because it's my one year anniversary for my girlfriend and I. We live in a long distance relationship, so I won't be able to make videos for about a week. But don't worry, I'll be back. I might make a video to upload while I'm gone, so it might not affect you at all. But I just thought I'd let you know. Okay, love you guys, bye. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Dissect. Today we're going to be looking at Adventure Time. I felt like after the creep show art video, I should do a simplistic style, so I chose one of the most simplistic styles I know. First, you can notice one of the defining factors of Adventure Time is the extremely simplistic mouth and eyes. We're not going to be doing special animals or humans, or special animals or beings. We're going to be doing specifically the humans. So another thing that's defining about Adventure Time is their very unique head shape. It's not so much a circle as it is an oval, but it's very slight. And then they have, of course, the very simplistic feet and fingers. They don't have five fingers, which is very cartoony of them, and I love it. Um, so yeah, it's extremely simple this time, you guys. So, sorry if you wanted something more complex, but it's very simple this time. Um, another key factor of Adventure Time style is they don't really have noses unless it's the Ice King, so yeah. Uh, for the hair, I chose... I think I chose Marceline's hairstyle-ish, how she has the points and it's not like Princess Bubblegum's hair where it's simply just dripping effect. So yeah, this one's going to be extremely simple and yeah, if it isn't obvious, I really like Marceline because of course I do. Uh, so the character we're going to be making is Human, my human OC. We're going to be using the extremely simple hairstyle where it ends in a point. The face is just like a little smiley face. It's very easy. And the head shape, which is a almost circle, it's more of an oval if you look at it from certain angles. Um, so yeah, it's very simple, you guys. It's not that hard this time, so it's going to be a very short video. And we are back! So, as you can see, I took another sketch I did on paper because, for some reason, I'm not very good at sketching in Fire Alpaca for whatever reason. I'm okay at inking in Fire Alpaca, but, um, yeah, no, sketching is easier for me to do on paper or skin, just not on Fire Alpaca. So, as you can see, it's the same character that I drew last time, just in Adventure Time style. So, I tried to give the character a peace sign, which I don't know if you've ever tried to give a Adventure Time character a peace sign. It's pretty difficult, seeing as they only have four fingers, and it looks very awkward, so I decided to scrap the idea later on because it just was not looking right. Yeah. Um, the reason I chose to do Adventure Time style is not just because I was feeling lazy this week. Oh, no, no. I did it because... Like I said, last week was pretty, um, pretty heavy-handed on the stylistic choices, so I decided to just do a very easy one to maybe give myself easier time. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I just did it because I'm lazy. Um, but I feel like a lot of people don't see the value in studying simpler styles, because if you study a simpler style, you can see what changes in other simple styles because some people say that other youtubers look like other youtubers and there's a lot of differences if you look for them people just see the very average what's the word people see the lowest amount of effort they put into it i guess they find the simplest things to point out and then they compare because humans find it easier to compare than make interesting narrative themselves. Wow, that sounded really preachy. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. 
But yeah, studying, studying simpler styles will help you determine what's different in very close styles when you know that they're not the same. Because nothing is exactly the same as another thing, really. Some people say that other people copy others, and that's not true. You can't steal a style, because there's too many styles for that to happen. If we're being honest, if you could steal styles, then nobody would have a style right now, because they would be called liars and cheaters for stealing a style, you know? Um, anyways, sorry I'm rambling. I haven't slept much, because I hate myself, I guess. So I decided to give her little boots because they're cute. Well, they're not really boots, they're like Finn's shoes, but they look like boots to me, so I'm calling them boots. And normally this character doesn't have boots, so I gave them to her because, yep. I was having a bit of trouble with arms. People say that those bendy arms are easier to do than jointed arms. I do not agree, because you have to figure out exactly how they would bend as if they were elastic or something, which is not very easy to do with human anatomy. So I was having a bit of trouble with the arms for a while. And then I went with a very simplistic color choice because Adventure Time is very... I don't want to say cool, but they use lighter colors than saturated. I feel like they use less saturated colors most of the time, so I decided to do that. Then I had to get a reference for my character's hair color because I forgot what color hair she had. I am a professional. One thing I absolutely adore about Adventure Time style is how they can get emotions across with such a simplistic style. I know sometimes they use those overly exaggerated facial features uh, to contrast with what they do with their normal style to make it a bigger, uh, a bigger impact, and I really like the effect it can get most of the time because you'll see Finn's overly exaggerated face and then it'll pop back right into this very cartoony, loose style and I just think it's really funny <laughs> how they manage to get so much contrast in such simple characters. And I feel like people knock simple styles a lot and I do not understand why because every style is different and every style is going to have ups and downs. Not everybody likes Creepshow Art's style, not everybody likes likes Adventures Time simplistic style, so it's all about personal taste, I guess, but I really don't understand how people judge each other for their art styles because it's it's all relative, you know? It's all relative. So then I did this, um, very poor background. Yep. I, I was just tired at that point. But yeah, that's uh, the Adventure Time style. Thanks for watching and dissecting with me. See you next time!